Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Computer. Computer. That was a really bad Scotty impression. That's what I was trying, you know, from Star Trek Four, The Voyage Home. It was the part in the movie where he's sitting in front of like a Mac classic and he's trying to tell the computer he wants to do something and he couldn't figure out how to tell it to do something and he picked up the mouse and started speaking into the mouse and as much as geeks may find that funny there are probably still people on this planet who try to do the same thing you may talk to your computer and if the software is available it may do something in return you may talk to your computer and there may not be any software in between in which case why are you talking to something that isn't talking back or really isn't recognizing what you're saying? That's a little nutty, but hey, it's your computer, it's your life. As long as you're doing it in the privacy of your own home, we're okay. If you start talking to your computer like in the middle of a coffee shop, wow, lay off the caffeine, dude. So we've written an article uh, after doing exhaustive research uh, in, and really playing around with the software you may have heard before, uh, Dragon Naturally Speaking. To answer the question, is Dragon, naturally speaking, right for you? I think uh, just about every modern operating system has some kind of voice capabilities, taking your voice and translating it into text. Now, in terms of how well the service works out of the box, yeah, not really, doesn't work that well at all. I mean, it works well enough for the price that you pay, but if you really want to have a... Um, I would say a good run at text to, to speech in, in that specific uh, way of input output, uh, you may want to go with dedicated software. And the leader in the field, as it has been for quite some time, is Dragon. No shock. So the article, Is Dragon Naturally Speaking Right for You? Linked on lockernome.com. It's in the description if you care to read along with me. Share it if you want. I'm going to go ahead and plus one it, tweet it, and then sh like it on Facebook. And hopefully you'll do the same thing. So Ron has stepped through. Essentially, he's the person who crafted this article. Uh, you know, a lot of the gotchas, things you got to watch out for, things that you might want to think about, and has added a few of his own suggestions and tips if you should even go down the path of text to speech software, or actually, speech to text. Text to speech is something completely different. And if I said text to speech earlier, I apologize. I do not have a backspace key in these live videos as we record them on YouTube every day with TLDR, the Locker Gnome Daily Report, at 3 p.m. Pacific. Uh, so, uh, some suggestions that Ron makes, and this is, you know, applicable, I think, for not just Dragon software, but any speech recognition software. Do not speak like a robot in a monotone voice. Speak naturally and try not to mumble. If anything, by practicing with speech-to-text software, uh, you, your diction should improve because you, you can't just mumble your way through words and expect that the computer is going to understand exactly what the heck you're saying. So if you do any amount of videos on YouTube and people are always asking you to speak more clearly, maybe this is an option. I don't know if you would even thought of that. Even if you don't use it as what it was designed to do, if it helps improve your communication skills as someone who does videos or as someone who communicates with other people in a verbal capacity anywhere, online or offline, uh, I think that's a potentially a really good investment. Another tip, you'll need to train yourself to include punctuation phrases like period or comma where they are needed. And if you've used uh, any kind of speech text software before, that's commonplace. I've even used it uh, when I've dictated uh, with the voice uh, dictation software on the iPhone or iOS. I've said period, comma, exclamation mark, question mark, and it, it seems to work uh, fairly well. I don't use it all that frequently, though, uh, but I would say that in terms of my usage of speech-to-text software, it's likely on uh, mobile devices at this point in time. I don't really do it uh, that frequently on the desktop, even with the software that's baked in to the OS, whether it's uh, Windows or Mac OS X or, or beyond. Another tip, and this is something that you should probably uh, realize applies to just about anything out there, you need to be patient, patient, and patient again. Eventually, you will have to program working the way you desire. And with these types of uh, software suites, uh, the customization that surrounds them is, is, I would say, is pretty complete. But the way that you speak may not be the way someone else speaks. Your accent is completely different from my. There's no one right accent, by the way. Uh, everybody has an accent. 
Everybody. I have an accent. I don't know what that accent is, but it's there. I don't know exactly what is there. But uh, according to uh, the, the, the YouTube chat room here, as I don't know if you call it a chat room, chat box, comments, Pinking, I'm sorry, Pinking most likely, 5555 says, yep, I am using Dragon right now. Where can I get beyond, says Vasquez123100. It's a good question. Uh, it's probably a Linux distribution. That's what I mean by beyond. Unlike the unwieldy, you know, Bed Bath & Beyond. You ever wonder what is beyond the bed and the bath? So, uh, take a look. If you uh, are a Dragon fan, you may have some other tips. If you have any other speech recognition tips, feel free to share them. And maybe you do have text-to-speech tips as well. Although... This is really more about speech to text. And if I mess that up in the video, I'm sure you're going to let me know. And feel free to dictate that to me at any point in time in the future.